I'm gonna show you how to update your Hummingbird unit and we're starting right now. All right, first thing we're gonna do is type in hummingbird.com. Then we're gonna to go to the support tab. Then we'll go to software updates. Now as we scroll down, you can see all of them are listed. Mine is the Helix 9 SI GPS. Now we'll just scroll all the way down to the download tab. Save file. And it should generate up here in the corner. And there it is. Then we'll right click show in finder. And there is our update. Easy. All right, first thing we're gonna do is go to the spotlight search. That is located in the upper right. Then we're gonna type in disk utility. Click on it. Then we're gonna go to my SD. Mine is right there, the EOS digital. Then we're gonna click on erase. We have to change the format to MS-DOS FAT. MS-DOS is FAT32. Then we'll finish it up by clicking erase. And now it is formatting. Done. Now up here is my downloaded update. Drag it over your SD card. And that's it. Easy. There it is. All right, we're gonna take this SD card and format it using a PC. There it is, EOS Digital. All right, down at the bottom, we're gonna open our folder window. All right, if you look over to your left, you'll see your SD card. We're gonna right click, go all the way down to format, click it, and if you look, hang on, let me zoom this in. If you look, we have to have a FAT32 as the format. Hummingbird will not understand anything other than FAT32. And hit start. There's your warning. Just click OK. And there you have it, format complete. Then all you have to do is drag and drop the update onto your SD card. Simple. Hummingbird recommends that you always restore factory default settings before adding new firmware. So that's what we're gonna do right here. Click menu, twice. Then we're gonna cursor right all the way to our setup page. Cursor down all the way to restore defaults right yes right and there it is now let's go ahead and power down once your unit is powered down let's stick our SD update in there and power on now it's going to show us our warning screen and then we're going to cursor over to the right. Then we're gonna cursor left for no. All right, we're gonna let this thing do its thing. Leave the power on because if you interrupt it, uh, it could be catastrophic. We're gonna make sure we leave that power on. Takes a few minutes. I think last time I had some kind of screen glitch that I seen. Yep, there it is. And there you have it. There's our current version, the updated version. No updates required. Easy. 